guys, welcome to My So Bliss. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest little tote bag that is actually reversible. It's super quick and easy. It's perfect for anyone to carry their things around. So let's get started. The great thing about this project is that you can make it whatever size you want. So for mine, I decided that I wanted it to be the size that would fit this book, of course, because I want it to match with the fabric and be able to fit the books. So once I determined that, I decided I wanted it to be about 12 inches wide and about 14 inches tall. So then I just added half of an inch for my seam allowances. So my pieces are being cut out at 12 and a half inches wide and 14 and a half inches long. And I'm gonna cut out four of those pieces. Once I have all four of my pieces cut out, I'm gonna take it over to my ironing board and turn it with the wrong side up. And I'm gonna go to the top of all of my pieces and I'm gonna turn that top edge under a quarter of an inch. So I'll just hold it like this and measure with my seam gauge a quarter of an inch and iron straight across. Once I have all of my pieces ironed, I then am placing them right sides together. So these two pieces are my outside pieces. I know that because um, Lola Dutch is on the front. So I'm gonna place those two pieces right sides together. And I can pin around the three edges. We're not gonna pin around the edge that we ironed. We're just gonna start on this side and go down and around. So we'll do those three edges and then these two are my lining pieces and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So right sides together and I'm gonna pin and get them ready to be sewn from this side over and up. Once I have my pieces pinned, I'm then gonna take it over to my sewing machine and at a quarter of an inch, I'm gonna stitch the three edges that I just pinned and I'm gonna do that to my outer pieces and to the lining pieces. So just doing the exact same thing on both pieces. Once you have your pieces sewn, then we're gonna take our scissors and trim the corners. So I sewed this edge, this edge, and then this edge over here, and I'm just trimming this corner and this corner. So that way when we turn it right sides out, it's going to sit really nicely. And this one is actually the lining, so we're not turning it right sides out. But this way, it won't be adding extra bulk um, when we put it inside of the other piece. So once I have that trimmed, um, it's always a good idea to iron your piece as well. So I did that with the outside piece as well. I trimmed my corners and then turned the right sides out and used my point turner. And to use that, I just put that inside and help push out this corner so that it looks really nice. Just make sure you don't poke a hole in it because if you push too hard, you can do that. So once I have my front piece right sides out, I'm gonna take the lining piece and put it inside of the outside piece. Once I have my lining inside of it, I'm actually just gonna go around and line up my raw edges, which actually are turned under, so they're not raw edges, but the edges that we didn't sew and I'm gonna put um, the seam allowances one to one side and the other to the other side so that way um, it reduces the bulk. But I'm gonna line that up and pin, and I'll just pin all the way around so that way it's ready and sitting really nice for me. Once I have this top edge pinned, I'm gonna set that off to the side. Here's one of my strap pieces, and I just took it over to my ironing board and folded it right sides together in half. And then I'm gonna take it over to my sewing machine and just stitch right along this edge at a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna do that to both pieces. After I have that seam sewn, I take it over to my ironing board and I like to iron the seams open so that it will lay really nice once we turn it right side out. So now I'm gonna take, this is just a plastic straw that I have and it's gonna help me turn the handles right side out. So I'm gonna take it, start turning, the handle right side out and stick the strap there and I can just kind of maneuver it down so that it turns the fabric right sides out. And you wanna make sure you don't tug too hard on it or it could rip a hole in the fabric and then you would have to start all over. Once 
once the strap is turned right sides out, I give it a good press and make sure that the seam is in the middle um, on the back. And one thing that you can do to finish off your strap is do a top stitch about um, an eighth to a quarter of an inch in on either side. And that'll just give it a more professional look, but is not necessary. Once you finish off the handles, however you want to, then I'm gonna start putting it onto the bag. So I already did this side, but let me flip it around and I'll show you how to do the other side. So we're gonna take our handle pieces and I'm gonna wind it up making sure that the right sides are the same on either piece. So when you come to the top and see how it loops around like that, you wanna make sure it lays the way you want it. So I like it to lay like that. So I'm gonna make sure it stays like that. And then I'm gonna take my pieces and I'm gonna take my seam gauge and I made mine a little long. So I'm gonna measure up about three inches and put a pin there. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. And then on the bag, I'm gonna take it, and from the side seams, I'm gonna measure in about two inches. And you can place these wherever you want. I just liked the look of two inches in on either side. And you can see I already placed these back ones, um, so they'll line up together. Once I have my two inches marked, I'm gonna take my strap and tuck it in between those two pieces. So this is the top piece and then this one right here is gonna be the lining piece. So I'm just gonna tuck that in and go all the way up to that three inch mark because that's where I decided I wanted it. And line that up and pin it in place. And I can pin through all three layers of fabric. So the top layer, the strap, and the lining. I'll pin that in place and now it's ready to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side of the strap. And again, just make sure that the strap is laying how you would like it to lay. Once I have that strap pinned in place, you can go and do the same thing on the other side and they're jo those pieces are just going to match up just like that. So, and here you can see the handles and how they look once they reach the top. They're gonna look just like that. So next I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and I'm gonna top stitch all the way around and I'm just gonna do a double needle um, straight stitch all the way around the bag. Make sure you're just going through those three layers and not stitching the bag closed. So make sure it stays open. And I like the look of a double needle. You don't have to, you could do single needle or even a zigzag stitch, whatever you prefer. And now you are all done with your tote bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you wanna see any more tips and tricks and what I'm doing in my everyday sewing, you can check out my Instagram at mysobliss and you can join our email list as well. I'll put a link down below for both of those. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.